This video is mostly about working through the pain of mistakes. I'll be focusing on the way I work through the skin tone and how I got to this end result. This figure is from the game Masmora Dungeons of Arcadia. Each playable character came with these great illustrations, so I'll be keeping this with me as a reference image to build my tones to. A few things I see right from the start is the warm colors on the eyelids and nose, the cooler tones for the shadows, and the matte tone for the light areas so I aim for those colors as an end result. I decided to try out Citadel contrast paints. These paints have a shade and pigment in one, so with a few coats, you'll have defined highlights and shadows. You need to paint smoothly and try not to go back over spaces as it can cause splotching. I tried to paint directly from the pot and it applied too thick. However, it's just paint. This is the deepest tone now and we can build over this with other layers. I then use light flesh and dark flesh tone to create three colors I can work between. I mix in some water and thin it out. This way, the previous layers of paint will still show through and I can slowly blend the colors to where I want. I'm putting a lot of focus where I want my light to be, to focus on the face. So I pass over the nose, forehead, cheeks, and brow more than the rest. Now that we have a nice cool base color, it's time to brighten the skin by adding more light flesh to the previous blended paint. I follow the same process as I did before, adding some water as needed. I use my thumbnail to test how the paint is applying. The paint should be watery, but not enough to run or leave a ball of wet paint at the end of the stroke. I dab my brush on a paper towel to pull some of the paint off the brush. I work on the face first, so by the time I finish the rest, I can hit the face again with a light layer and get the effect I desire. Now that the skin is brighter, I need to add more color and tone. Remember, keep working forward. This is just paint and can be adjusted. Using Vallejo's Bloody Red, I mix it with the previous colors and then move to a new area for future blending. It's always good to have some of the previous blends if you need to correct over any mistakes. I apply thin coats to the skin to warm it up. The skin still looks pale so I darken and color it with Vallejo's Flesh Wash. Washes help shade the model. It gets in the recesses and looks like shadow. But in this case, I'm adding it to the palette and using it as a thin glaze of paint to add depth and color. Working over the entirety of the skin and letting it dry before coming back where needed. Color is coming back, but it still looks a bit light and pale overall. To make the skin darker and blend the colors more, I use Citadel's Agrax Earthshade in the same glazing style as the previous layer, carefully moving the brush around and tinting the skin. Be patient with the wash layers. Give them time to dry, because their damp state is deceiving. After drying, I painted back some of the highlight and color on the face. I need to push forward and get the base colors down for the hair and clothes. That really brought everything together. Remember, keep moving forward. Starting over can be disheartening, and you may lose the fun and never finish your figures. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.